I come to the Chamber once again, Madam Deputy Speaker, to raise the profile of the risks facing those working on the front line of our emergency services. I come to seek approval for new legislation that would offer our police officers, firefighters, doctors, nurses and paramedics greater protection from harm than existing legislation currently allows. They routinely go above and beyond in order to keep the public safe. Yet when someone sets out to deliberately injure or assault an emergency responder, the laws in place must convey how unacceptable this is in the strongest possible terms. This bill sets out to do just that. I was just doing my job. 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 I'm absolutely delighted that we've got third reading of the bill. That means it goes now onto the House of Lords and with any luck, um, we should be able to have much better legislation protecting our emergency workers on the statute book by this autumn. Uh, the, one of the best bits of today was the government finally caved in on the question of whether sexual assault of emergency workers should be included in the bill, and it will now. Uh, and so, you know, the bottom line is an attack on anybody is wrong, but an attack on any one of our emergency workers is in effect an attack on all of us. So, of course, the law should be brought to uh, bear on them, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Somebody said, we're not superheroes, we do bruise, we do get battered. And that's a demonstration of what can happen and it brings the reality home to our children and our loved ones that the job can sometimes be dangerous or ultimately end your life. My assumption was that the assailant would have gone to prison for hmm. maybe five or six years for something like that. No, I'm sorry, but your assumption There's, is Yeah, and the assumption I, I now know is wrong. What, what happened? Uh, she got 16 weeks on a tag and £150 to pay me compensation, which I know I won't see because she doesn't work. On Tuesday the 13th of November, the Assault on Emergency Workers Bill comes into effect. This is after a tireless campaign by the Police Federation and others uh, under the Protect the Protectors Bill. But this is just the start because we didn't get every we want, everything we wanted in this legislation, but it's absolutely a start. But my plea to you, as, a, as police officers or any emergency worker, is if you're assaulted, whether physically or verbally, please report it get it recorded, and if it needs to be investigated, it should be investigated. No emergency worker deserves to be assaulted just because of the uniform they wear or the job that they do. So I'm really proud that this legislation is now in law. We'll make sure that the legislators use it. We'll make sure that the Crown Prosecution Service uses it because it's going to give you an extra level of protection.